Capricorn, welcome to your May 2023 reading. I'm Robin Carlion from Raw Tarot, and thank you for visiting my channel. All right, so Capricorn, this is a 10 card reading. I don't know if I said that already. And we're starting with your situation. Oh my goodness. Oh, please believe this. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is your energy, a new burst of energy of your earth energy, your abundant energy. There is this new path, new journey. This is awesome. Being handed by the universe. Ooh, that's awesome. Capricorn. I love that. You deserve it, Capricorn. All right. So now, okay. This one here, the three of pentacles, your energy again, this three, it is about community, okay? And so it comes, did I say that? Um, wow, I'm having like, uh, like forgetfulness right now. Anyway, this is your challenge. Now, with this one being community, what immediately came up for me was okay what immediately came up for me was like uh okay don't fish in the pond um it means that when say like you're in business you're in networking and there's like that community of people that you're you're with what i'm receiving here is that it's kind of stale and I'm receiving that you should be moving beyond that, okay? Yeah, you should definitely be moving beyond that. Like, um, I'm talking about like other countries. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about you going there. I'm talking about working with people. So like perhaps virtually, perhaps uh, like, you know, like talking to people over email or doing Zoom or, or whatever it is and whatever it is, because this is really looking like this is something Capricorn for business, okay? It's looking that there's whatever it is that you are doing. And this is for some of you because I'm also picking up that there's some sort of movement, there's some sort of travel that's going to be happening as well. But here, this is that the people they're supportive, they love you, but I just feel that you need to go above and beyond. You need to go in search of like more of the right people, okay? The people that need you, the people that need your services, this is really like what I'm receiving is, um, yeah, like I, it, it is business, but then I also get like, um, just like a whole, like for some of you, I'm just new people, new people looking for like-minded people. The cycles that we've been going through Capricorn right now with the, the solar eclipse, the Mercury retrograde, the new moon and Taurus or sister sign, this is all foundational. Okay. This is all like big, huge, massive changes that are happening. Okay they're not little. And so the, the Mercury retrograde, this is, this is saying that there is, uh, there is things that you need to look at and that you need to say, Hey, you know what? I need to look at this from a different perspective, or you know what? I don't feel the same way that I used to feel about the, that's what I'm getting. You don't feel the same way that you felt about, uh, the career, the job, the people, there's something that you want to branch branch out on. There's some sort of like you Capricorn are like something really big is happening now because that, that this comes up as a challenge card and there's so much information that came from that one there. Um, don't think small, no more small potatoes. Okay. It's all the big, all the big potatoes. You are going after all of the big stuff. Okay. Don't limit yourself. Really, like, uh, uh, you're attracting higher. You're attracting higher. You're receiving higher. Okay. Wow. So whoever resonated to all of that. Oh, see? 
Oh, this is the 10 of pentacles. This is the completion card for your, see, I told you like no more small potatoes. You can only go after and attain the big potatoes. You really need to level up your mindset. You need to level up everything, okay? Wow. Because you're in your sister sign energy, I'm really feeling, yeah. Whoa, this is crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. So this here is, there's no more worries. This is the root of the reading. It's the fourth placement, okay? And then this one here is waiting for your harvest. No more small potatoes. Get rid of all the people that you don't resonate with. And all of your worries will be gone. I know that like in communities and in networking and in families and all sorts of things like that, there are, um, ooh, look at that, three of fire, new journey. Um, the, there, there's all sorts of dramas and toxicities and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, like that don't just, don't, don't swim in or keep, keep, fishing from that same pond, okay? Because it's just so small. And you you really you you got to you got to like let loose, you got to emerge, you got to grow, you got to expand. So that is what I'm really getting here. Now, the high priestess. This is your intuition, Capricorn. This is you really calling on yourself, listening to your body, listening to all of the, ooh, um, there's something with Pisces and Pisces is uh, really showing up in a very, very big way for all of us, really helping us uh, intuitively, uh, move forward, strengthen our intuition. That's really happening there for you. What an amazing, incredible reading so far, Capricorn. Yeah. Look at this new relationships, new partnerships. Things are going very, very well. Expect that. Okay. A lot of really good stuff that's coming up for you in your future relationship wise. That's like strong bonds. Now for the internal, this is another completion. And this one is the 10 of fire or the 10 of wands. Now what that represents is that there is that lift of that exhaustiveness, okay? So you are gonna be able to feel that you can drop all of that big, huge load, all of that exhaustion that you have been carrying and let yourself feel a lot lighter, a lot more free. Feel that freedom. Too many. Okay, external. Ooh, okay, well. For these two cards, again, two big heavy hitters. With this death card here, I would be surprised if like everyone didn't get this card, okay? This is about closing out cycles. And Capricorn, what this means, and when you look at this card, I want you just to see how busy it is, okay? I don't want you to look at anything else. I just want you to see like there's lots of stuff that's going on there, okay? And so all of that stuff needs to cycle out. You need to get rid and tidy up of all of that stuff because when you do, guess what's going to really show itself? There's two pillars right there and there's a pathway to that sun, okay? So that is what you want to be working for. That is your goal. That is your way forward is tidying up and cleaning up all loose ends. Here you have this new burst of energy. This is the Ace of Fire. This is another Ace that you have. That's awesome, amazing. Uh, really strong, like I'm feeling like uh, like lots of um, relationship energy as in like uh, success, um, growth, uh, bond, strong bonds. Ooh, this is nice, page pentacles. Uh, but I'm thinking work, work, career, career, really, really working out very well for you. This here is the page of 
Pentacles, this Page of Pentacles. This is that abundant earth energy, your energy, where there is a lot of things that are coming up for you. Please know that I feel and I see that there is, it's like kind of like layering, like things are just going to keep coming, 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 not all at once. Uh, but I do feel that you're going to have like some time in between. All right. So, ooh, how's about that for your, oh, by the way, I have um, three more cards from different decks that I'm going to pull for you right after this one here. This is your completion card here. Now, this is super interesting. Look at that. With all of this happening, and with you receiving that death card and saying that you need to tidy things up, here's another reminder here. This is the death card and the, or sorry, the devil card and the devil card. It is your energy Capricorn. This is your card. And so this here is saying that there's things that you need to pay attention to. There's things that you need to break away from. And there's like, um, like fresh start, fresh new energy. Okay. And then this one here is the hermit. This one here, I know it doesn't look uh, appealing. It's, it's very like gloomy, but this is probably one of the most profound major arcanas in the whole entire deck. Okay. This is like that amazing, incredible knowledge that you already have, that wisdom that you already have within yourself. And this is your guiding light right here, okay? Follow that guiding light, follow your guiding light, follow your intuition, like with this high priestess here. And then you have this awesome, infinite strength. Um, so I just wanna say that you have finished with the uh, completion energy with three major arcanas. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, that's huge. That's big. You have a lot of amazing things that are coming to you, but you need to let go of all of the things that are not serving you. And this is the universe. This is spirit coming through saying, Hey, you know what? All of this awesome, amazing energy is all going to come for you. It's going to be abundant and it's all going to lay out in front of you. But you got to make some really, really hard decisions. And they might not be easy. This is the Wisdom Oracle. Um, they might sting a little bit too. So take it from the higher power. <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, messages coming through, there's some hard decisions that you're going to have to make. Wow. That was profound. Okay. And then, okay. Five of Gabrielle. The Five of Gabrielle, this one, it shows up as... Uh, you don't have it here, but this is uh, getting out of chaos, chaos and conflict. Okay, so oh, I almost dropped my glasses. Okay, so um, a challenge that you can resolve: withdrawal from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. Withdraw from the drama of others. All right. Um, and the five is always saying that you are, you're shifting into a higher, uh, energy. Okay. So knowing that that challenge, it, it will be resolved, but that goes with you taking that action. Okay. Now, uh, that's way too many cards. Yeah. That's like an eighth of the deck. Chakra. What chakra are you going to be working on for this whole entire month? Okay, so desires. This one here is goals, 
passion, craving, and fulfillment. This is 100% you going after what it is that you want. This is the sacral chakra, okay? Sacral chakra is the doozy of all of the chakras. It has to do with relationships. It has to do how you attract abundance in your life. It does have to do with money. This is a very, very good, good card. Desire, go after your desires. Go after your desires. Wow, Capricorn, thank you so much for showing up for yourself. Thank you for showing up and listening to me. And thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. Please subscribe, comment, and like this video. I love you all. Mwah.